What's up everybody? It's Wick. I'm doing some thrifting today. My first stop is Burger King. Got a little bit of a breakfast. Sitting in the lounge area. Still pretty dark out. Gonna hit a lot of places, but I'm gonna take you along today. So let's get this started. I'm outside the home of the Whopper now. Didn't find anything to resell in there. We get ready to head to Lowe's. Um, got a sweet drink. It's a high C vanilla. So I got, they got one of those uh, dispensers that you can mix drinks. And uh, super good. But onward to Lowe's. Well, I'm at Lowe's. And it's starting to snow a little bit. I'm sure you can't see it because I can barely see it. But let's go find something and make some money. So I found something in Lowe's. Um, kind of a weird thing. It's a bathtub floor repair kit. But if you look at the price here, it was $88 down to $8. So, um, I scanned it. It's on Amazon. The picture was like a reflection in a mirror. Everything was backwards. It was just a crappy, crappy listing. Like, the description was, tub repair. That's it. And it's a, it's under hazmat review. So, didn't really buy it to sell on FBA. I did a quick eBay search, just out of curiosity. You know, see if people are buying it. And somebody had a few listed for $127.00. And there was one that was a, a bid auction, and it was, um, I already had a bid of uh, $55. So apparently people are wanting them if it's already got a bid. So at the very least, you know, I sell it for $55, make some money. But you know, if I can get uh, $30 profit out of these, there's, I got two of them, so there's 60 bucks. So already happy if this is all I find for today, but I'm pretty optimistic. My first stop, other than Burger King landing anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks I'd say profit just depends on how much I actually get for these but um, I'm gonna hit Kohl's now cuz I'm approved to sell in clothing maybe find some shoes or some clothing or something um, so there's Kohl's right there I'll let you know if I find something in there just got out of Kohl's spent almost an hour in there didn't find anything to sell but I'm trying on a bunch of jackets they had dirt cheap clearance um 75 85 percent off winter clothes try on like 10 different types of jackets settled on one um it's marked 40 but it ended up being 32 dollars wasn't normally 100 so pretty happy about that because i've been wanting to get a new uh, winter jacket um so i was going to head to marshall's it's right there but since it's so late i think i'm going to skip marshall's because it doesn't really pay out um ever <laughs> for um, clearance. I usually go in there and buy something that's for myself. I really don't want to spend any more money because I just bought, um, just upgraded my computer and spent like $900 to do that. Just bought myself a new video game that I'm going to be playing. Um, XCOM 2, if anyone's into games. I love strategy games. And then I'm getting ready to buy a, it's called a Fit Desk, I think it is. It's a, basically a, a fitness uh, bike and it's um this guy's just looking at me all strange but it's a fitness bike with a desk on it so I can put my laptop on it I've been sitting at the computer doing two to three hours of computer work um quite often and got a lot going on so I wanted to be exercising while I do that so I'm going to try that uh, that's going to be a couple hundred bucks so I'm spending way too much money on myself but anyway um going to go ahead and I think head to St. Francis Thrift Store. I got a coupon. If I spend $20, I get $10 off. So, all right. See you later, even though I won't be seeing you. I am at St. Francis Thrift Store. Just opened a few minutes ago. Hopefully, there's some good crap in there. So, let's see. Sis, I apologize for the camera work. My battery died and it's plugged in, so I can't get a, a very good angle. And I'm trying to show you what I got. I got some hour in there. It's a pain in there because I don't get phone service. There's only a couple spots I know of in the store I can go to. But, uh, seen something right away. Very first thing when I walked into the case, which made my day. Not this. I'll show that last. I think there's only three things I got. But I did get this Sony Blu-ray player. Um, I looked it up. It has a medium rank in electronics. But the reason I bought it, for one, it's in really good shape. There's no remote. But uh, 
FBA, it's selling for uh, 200 and some dollars, which I don't necessarily believe. Merchant Fulfill is like $120. So, I, I paid $14.99 for it. If I can make at least $30 on it, I'll be happy. I think I can. So, I'm going to lowball and say $30 profit on that. After I get my 15 back, of course. And then I just picked up a puzzle. Uh, just make $6 on this after fees and everything. So, nothing big there. Uh, also got... Yeah, my allergies are just killing me right now. I also got this, uh... Little Sony DVD remote. I'll make $12 after that on fees. It's brand new. And then finally... First thing I see when I walked in, $24.99, but remember I had that $10 off coupon, so basically uh, $15, I got this uh, calculator, uh, TI-83+, plus, really, really good condition, uh, batteries were in it, so it turned right on, no screen damage or anything, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm not sure what they're selling for right now, but I know I've sold plenty of these in the past, so I'll make, <clears throat> if you count my $10 being off for that and me paying 15 basically for the calculator, I'm going to make um, probably $35 after fees. I'll wait and send it in around back to school time if I have to this coming year. And I can barely breathe right now, so I probably sound weird, but... It's like snowing or sleeting even harder now. Um, so pretty good in there. I don't know the total profit. Like I said, there's some iffy items with this uh, Blu-ray player, but hopefully I can uh, actually get some decent money on that. Uh, probably can. It's Sony. Don't have a remote. That's unfortunate. But we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go to a Goodwill next. Here we are at Goodwill. You can barely see the sign. Still charging my phone. It's community thrift right there. It's not open. It's closed. It doesn't exist. It's never existed, but the sign has existed forever. So I'm going to go in, dub the smelly Goodwill because of how bad it usually smells. I found one thing in here worth about $10. Other than that, I've never found anything, but I still come. Because I'm explorer, I guess. Just came out of the smelly Goodwill and actually found something for the, like the second time ever. Not that I come here too often, but I got a Understanding Business book. I can't get out of the bag. I apologize. Uh, should make $10 on this. I'm holding my camera weird because I had to plug it in again. It's about dead. There's a lot of stuff in there to scan. Just put this in the back seat here. I got a puzzle. Now this puzzle, I can't get out of the bag. I should pre-take this out of the bag before I start, huh? Pretty nice puzzle, new seal. It was only $2, which is odd to find, you know, things priced, underpriced like that. And it's going to be, um, it's selling for $50, but a really high rank in toys. And then I got these I almost didn't get. I almost didn't even need to scan them. It's a Twilight journal thing. They were $4, unfortunately. But they sell on Amazon. I think it was $15. I'll well, basically a little more than double my money. They're new. But the rank in books is extremely good. It's like 200000 or something, which is just insane. So I'll just double my money there. So I got two of them, so that's 8 bucks. But that's it for this Goodwill. There's another Goodwill 10 minutes away, so I want to keep this uh, good luck rolling and go hit that. Get ready to source in Roadway Express. Not really. It's actually a Target back there. I just really parked far away. But let's see if I can find something. Okay, I'm in and out of big lots. Their clearance is just terrible. A bunch of open garbage. It's on toy clearance, but it's 30 to 50% off and it was just crap toys. So I think I'm actually going to hit Bed Bath & Beyond over here. I haven't sourced there before, and I've heard the clearance is really good. And what about Dick's Sporting Goods? I've been in there a few times. I don't go in there often, but I've never actually been in there to source. But I've been going for a few hours now, and there's still a few places I want to hit. 
But if you guys uh, ever source any products at Goods, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know if uh, Dick Sporting Goods is a pretty decent place. Woo, so I just got out of Bed Bath & Beyond and wow, that's going to be a stop for me from now on. Um, put that in the rotation. Their clearance was ridiculous. It was about 50% off clearance and a lot of it had taken an additional 75% off. I love that kind of clearance. It's bittersweet because there was a lot of um, health and beauty uh, items that I can't sell because I'm just not approved in that category yet. I need to get on that because I would have made it a couple hundred more dollars. As it stands now, I'm going to make a couple hundred and going in there. Bunch of random stuff I'll show later. I don't want to try to show it in the parking lot. Um, it's just too much. It's freezing. It was 60 degrees yesterday. And now it's like in the 20s and snowing. And it was thunderstorming yesterday. So that's Ohio for you. Anyone who lives in Ohio knows. But i um, super happy about that. Um, got some candles, some magic wraps, some health lights, which I can't sell. But they sell on eBay for like 25 um, a bunch of mop replacement heads. I don't know what they are, but they sell for money. I even bought a mop because I thought I might use it because it was so dang cheap. So, great find. I'm going to head to Meyer now, I think, and then head back home and hit my two Goodwills. And I was going to go to Salvation Army, but it sucks usually, so it's getting late, so I may just uh, hit the Meyer and then call it a day after the two Goodwills. So, let's go. Just got out of Meyer and found this. It's a wireless sound system. It's uh, all-terrain solar powered. Was 100, marked down to 25. I should make about 30, 35 dollars after fees. So glad I stopped in Meyer. They had a ton of clearance, and there is a bunch of um, wrestling shoes that were marked down to like 11 bucks from 50. And I scanned them. It's like, ooh, these are, these are selling well. You know, a lot of reviews and everything. And then um, they're restricted, so it must have been the brand. I forget the brand. It started with an O, like Orin or something. Because I'm a, approved to sell in shoes. But that's unfortunate because uh, probably would have been a couple hundred dollars in bowling shoes. But um, I'm not going to worry about selling them if I can't sell them on Amazon. It's just easier that way. But, um... Going ahead, I got two more Goodwills on the way back through to my town, and that'll be it for the day. So let's see if I can find some more. So first Goodwill done. They had some little drones in there for fifteen dollars in the case, a couple packages. So I took a look at them, and they're missing the drone. They're not new. <laughs> made them look new. So I could have made like fifty bucks on them, but. Not without the drone. So, onward to the last Goodwill. So I decided to stop at Meyer before the other Goodwill, um, my local Meyer, just to see if they had any of those solar-powered uh, sound systems here. They did not, but I did find a bunch of Minion, dancing Minions from the movie, you know, the Minions, and uh, what's the other movie they're in, the original one, I don't even remember right now. But, uh... They were $10 a piece. Uh, they're selling on Amazon for 30, 30 some dollars. Basically I'll make like, there are a couple of different kinds. One I'll make 16 and one I'll make 12. Luckily there's more than one that I'll make 16 on. So I'll make about $75. I spent about 50. So I'll make uh, about $75 in the end. So pretty glad I stopped there. These got great ranking toys. They're all like, you know, 10,000, 20,000. So should sell pretty quick. Um, the competition wasn't even that bad. So I have a bad luck in toys. The price just drops off. So I'm really reluctant to buy toys. But these look pretty good. They had a bunch more of those Atari plug and play systems and Sega systems. I bought them out last time. And the price is dropping. There's a hundred sellers. So I'm probably going to have to hold on to those until Christmas honestly. Either that or just make like $5 a piece. I don't like spending like 15 20 bucks to make 5 but I may send a couple in here and there just to kind of balance it out. But I'll definitely get my money back even if it keeps going down. And if I wait till Christmas, I'll probably easily double my money. I think I spent $200 on them. Should have been in the last video if I'm putting these up in order. But uh, 
yeah that's that's what i got I'm gonna go to the last goodwill i've been sourcing now for over eight hours straight uh i ate that burger king it's been eight hours since i ate that burger king um it's been a long time it is now uh 4 18 i started this journey at eight so actually before that if you count you know getting up and getting ready but it's been a uh profitable day so far 500 600 dollars profit so let's hit the goodwill and try to make uh, some more money so final goodwill yield sum reward a bag of vacuum bags for four dollars i'll make about 12 13 bucks after fees on these super good rank super good reviews should be an easy twelve dollars uh i'm happy with this to end the day um yeah, this was a, a pretty good day. One of the longest days I've ever sourced. Looks like it's going to be nine hours. It's uh, 4.45. So by the time I get home, it'll be about five. And I'll have to get everything out of my car. I just thought about that. That sucks. I don't want to do it. I wanted to take a nap today because I want to get up at midnight and play a game that's being released. But uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll just sleep... Um, never never sleep i have a lot of stuff i need to get i just got a bunch of shipments out and i'm ready to get some more out a ton of more, a ton more stuff i've been buying like crazy um need to go in this roses over here sometime but it's not going to be today i don't know if roses has good clearance it's a really crappy store i've been in it once i haven't been back in about two years but i'm gonna head home i'm gonna go eat i'm gonna put the total in the corner of estimated profits because i have no idea i've got so much random stuff but I think it's like five, six hundred dollars. That's my guess. But you'll see it in the corner. I want to thank everybody for watching this um, adventure. It makes it a little more enjoyable making these videos. It's kind of like I'm talking to someone, even though I'm not. I'm just some weird guy in a car with a phone recording. But uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, please thumbs up. It encourages me to keep making these. And if you want to see more, you know, subscribe because I plan on making these for a while garage sale season you know it's creeping up and that's when i find some unique cool stuff so i'm sure you'll want to see it but this has been wick until next time so i lied this video isn't over yet i still gotta show you guys the bed bath and beyond stuff i got um see that's not it See, I got these. These were the lights. See, they were. Uh, this one actually wasn't marked down to begin with. It was 20, then 75% off. So, what, like. What was this? Five dollars? Something like that. I thought these were cheaper. Well, regardless, I should be able to sell them for $25 a piece. So, I have to check the receipt. I thought they came up like $250. Maybe they were five. Either way, I mean, they're going to be profit. I should make, you know, 15 bucks after fees and everything. I'm going to have to sell them on eBay because I'm not approved to sell them on Amazon. Uh, I got these. These had a pretty good rank. They are a replacement um, for microfiber. I also got the mop. It ended up being like $4 from $20. i am going to use that myself. Probably keep a couple of these. But uh, they were... $12.99 marked down to $8.99 and 75% off of $8.99 so like $2 they sell for like $17 or $18 on Amazon so I should make right around $10 a piece on them I don't know how many I got 6 7 8 maybe so that's like $80 right there like it's probably more than $200 I think I said about $200 from Bed Bath & Beyond but I also got these um, the trendy top, they ended up being like two dollars. Originally ten ninety nine, but they were on Amazon for like I think seventeen or eighteen dollars with a pretty good rank. So I'll try them out to see if they sell. Either way, I don't even know what it is, I guess it just maybe I should wear one of these. <laughs> but um covers your waist, belly, and rear view. Hey oh but uh I don't know how many of those I got. There's a bunch in there. There's a bunch of uh, Yankee candles from uh, 
fall and winter um, smells, scents, use words properly. But they were normally like 28 bucks. I got them for 8 bucks a piece. I don't like the idea of shipping candles. I never tried it. But I mean, I should make like $12 per candle. I think I got 5 or 6 candles. So hopefully they don't break. Let's see, there's just more uh, of those trendy tops in there. I think that's really it. Oh, there was one more thing. I hope she put those in. I actually don't think she did. Maybe I'm just, I've lost them. Well, they were vacuum filters. They're out there. That, no, that's not them either. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully they're here somewhere in that bag. But they're just vacuum filters. Um, I think I make $6 a piece. There were two of them, so there's like another 12 bucks. But I have no idea how long this video is going to be. But hey, this is a nine hours out sourcing. So... <laughs> If it's a 30 minute video, um, that's pretty good I think. But uh, totals up in the corner, probably still. <laughs> but this is, the, I believe, the final farewell from Wick. Until next time.